the golden age of attack helicopters began in the second half of the 20th century. Helicopters armed to the teeth could do almost anything on the battlefield. In the 21st century, combat drones began to replace them. But even now, armed armed conflicts inform the participation of attack helicopters. Among the attack helicopters, the Eurocopter Tiger is considered the most powerful design in Western Europe. This is the product of the cooperation between France and Germany, manufactured through Eurocopter. Tiger's development began during the Cold War. In 1984, the governments of France and West Germany demanded an advanced multi-purpose battlefield helicopter. It was intended to be an anti-tank helicopter platform used to counter a potential Soviet land invasion into Western Europe. The long development period, the collapse of the Soviet Union, and the financial difficulties caused the project seemed to be collapsed. There have been calculations that the U.S. made Mountaineer Douglas AH-64 Apache attack helicopter could be a significantly cheaper alternative than developing an entirely new helicopter. However, the Germans did not want to stop. They wanted a more mounted on helicopter. In addition to being an excellent anti-tank platform, the specifications for the German platform were modified to include arm battery reconnaissance, close air support for ground troops, and escorting other helicopters. In 1992, Aeropatia of France, MBB of Germany, and other companies merged to form Helicopter Group. The Tiger Attack Helicopter project continued to be developed, achieving operational readiness in 2008 and first used in 2003. Today, Aerocopter is part of Airbus and has been renamed Airbus Helicopters. The Tiger Attack Helicopter, also known as EC-665, is still in production. Relatively, the Tiger can be considered the same type as the US AH-64 Apache, Russian KA-50 Black Shark, Augusta A129 Mangusta of Italy, and the near AH-2 of South Africa. Each Tiger helicopter costs about $40 million. It is second only to the AH-64 T Apache Longbow Attack Helicopter in terms of cost. Tiger's appearance is in line with the design philosophy of current generation attack helicopters. Tiger has a parallel glass cockpit and is operated by a two-man crew. The pilot is placed in the forward position. The gunner sits behind. They can also switch drones if needed. The pilot's entrance is from the port side of the helicopter, while the gunner is in the rear cockpit enters in on the starboard side. Both cockpit positions have grid views ahead. Eurocopter Tiger attack helicopters are made of special materials, 80% of which are carbon fiber reinforced with polymer and Kevlar. The remaining 11% are aluminum and 6% are titanium. The entire tail section is made of composites including the single-section tail room. The rotors are composed of a fiber plastic composite material able to withstand combat damage and burst twice. The structure of the Tiger also incorporates protection against lightning strikes and electromagnetic burns via an embedded copper grid and copper bonding fire. The entire slender fuselage combined with the use of composite materials on the airframe, led to a reduction in radar cross-section, infrared and acoustic signatures to improve its battle survival. Classified as a medium attack helicopter, the Tiger has an empty weight of 3 tons, a maximum takeoff weight of 6 tons, 
length of 14.08 meters and a height of 3.83 meters. Powering the helicopter are two MTR-390 turboshot engines, developing 1,303 horsepower each. Fuel is contained in two main internal fuel tanks, and an additional two smaller tanks are housed inside the step wings. It has cell sealing capability to decrease the vulnerability. Tiger can reach a maximum speed of 315 km per hour, a range of 800 km, a service ceiling of 4000 meters. Rate of climb is 10.7 meters per second. Perhaps the most significant single avionics system fitted upon the Tiger is the mass-mounted OSIRIS sensor. OSIRIS performs as the main sensor for target observation and acquisition, providing firing and targeting data via the weapon's computer. OSIRIS also enables entirely passive target acquisition to be undertaken and was developed to maximize the capabilities of the Trigat anti-tank missile developed in parallel to the Tiger itself. The Tiger can be fitted with various armaments, including rockets, cannons, and a range of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, controlled via a dedicated weapons control computer. Munitions for anti-ground warfare include a nose-mounted 30mm Nexter turret, an assortment of external gun pods, anti-tank missiles, and up to four launchers for 70mm and 68mm rockets can be mounted on the Tiger's step wings. When deploying missiles such as the Mistral, the Tiger is capable of taking advantage of the munitions of bar side capabilities. A guided 70mm rocket will be developed for the Tiger based on the rocket sand series. To date, Tiger has appeared in four major versions, consistent with the requirements of the countries it is serving. The Germans use the UH Tiger version, the French version is Tiger HAP and Tiger HAD. Australia also has its own version is Tiger ARH. Tiger's versions vary primarily in weapon configuration and sensors, where the overall design is entrenched. Tiger has a relatively lightweight, high flexibility and good resistance against 12.7mm, 14.5mm anti-aircraft machine guns and 23mm cannon rounds. Since being put into operation, Tiger proves it to be a reliable platform for operational duties overseas. In July 2009, three French Tiger HAP helicopters of the 5th Helicopter Regiment arrived at Kabul International Airport in Afghanistan, marking the first active deployment of the Tiger into an active combat zone. The helicopters perform armed reconnaissance and fire support missions acting in support of coalition ground troops fighting a Taliban insurgency. During the 2011 military intervention in Libya, along with British Army Apache helicopters, took part in combat operations in Libya. In December 2012, German Tigers were deployed to Afghanistan. The UH Tigers performed reconnaissance missions, ground support and convoy protection duties. In January 2013, French Tigers were deployed during conflict in northern Mali. My video of Eurocopter Tiger ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.
chờ được lại